Okay, so let's try to explain this really simply. So you have your mask and your layer. And the way I've set this up is the bottom ball has no gravity, so it's just chilling there. And it's still a rigid body. The top ball does have gravity uh, there, scale. So they are on no layers with no masks. We play. They fall through. Next one. We put the bottom ball. He's, he's going to reside on layer one. And the top ball is going to reside on layer one. We'll do that because I think it's a good example. And whoop, they fall right through. That's because nobody's listening to collisions. Neither of them are on a mask. The mask is its sort of like you actually recognizing things exist. Um, so ball one we keep on layer one and layer uh, the top one will put the mask to layer one. So ball one is on the layer one. That's where he's sitting. because It's a layer. It's physical. The mask is if you want to ignore collisions or not essentially. I would like to notice collisions on this. And you'll notice something interesting about how this works. This ball didn't move. That's because he doesn't he doesn't care about physics. He's not listening for collisions. You could set him up to listen for collisions on layer two, but he's still not gonna recognize it. Because he doesn't he doesn't believe in this layer. He doesn't even believe this physical layer exists. He's ascended beyond this layer. Right? So now let's reverse the roles so we can see what happens here. We have this guy who exists on layer one, but doesn't believe in any um, any collisions. So he has no mask. He doesn't see the physical world. So he just moves as he pleases on layer one. This guy, on the other hand, he's not on layer one. Doesn't matter. But he does listen to layer one. He's listening to see if anything's hitting him, and then he will move, even though he, he's not actually on the layer. So let's l take note of how he moves. Whew, flies right through him, right? That's because the first guy doesn't believe in any collisions. He's on layer one, but he doesn't believe they exist, so he doesn't care that he just hit something. He just keeps moving. It's like Neo from the Matrix. This guy believes in all the collisions. He's not able to, uh, you know, really... Uh, no one else can really see him because he's not actually in the world, in the layer. But he does listen for him. So when he gets hit, he moves with the full force of whatever hit him. Because he's listening for collisions uh, with the Mask 1. Um, and then finally, we'll put them both on Layer 1. We could do something else that's like, we could have one on Layer 1 listening to 2, and the other on 2 listening to 1. It doesn't matter. We're just going to put them both on 1. And you'll notice the collision is slightly different. See how it's a little bit slower, they slide off each other, whereas the first time the top guy just kept plowing, didn't push him left or right. And that's because now they both believe in the same thing here. They're in the same world and they're listening to the same world, or however you want to consider this. But basically the point being, <clears throat> you can listen for collisions and get affected by them, even though you aren't um, actually in, that, in the same layer that the other guy's in. You're just listening for what they're doing, and you're like, you're getting phantom punched, you know? So in this case, when this guy's listening to layer one, listening on, because he's on mask one, he's listening for everybody on layer one to find out what they're doing. He, he, he's getting pushed around, but he's not actually having any effect on anything in that layer. He's just listening for it and adjusting it. I don't know if there's a point why you'd want to do that, but hopefully that kind of makes sense. And we'll just put that one more time just to show you that. It's just like, it goes right through. There was no effect to the first guy because he doesn't care about um, anybody on layer one. And so we can put this guy even as well on layer one and it'll be the same thing because he doesn't actually listen to any collisions. So now you're looking, the first guy on layer one doesn't care about anybody else. He just moves through the world with no regard for anybody else's physics. And so he's affecting everybody who cares about this layer, but he's not actually being affected by them. So maybe that helps. Um, it, just, it was confusing, so I wanted to make a video.